Hi everybody, Aaron Blaze here and welcome to another episode of Aaron's Art Tips. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about value structure and working on a toned background and how working on different values, meaning uh, light or dark, working over those values can, can affect the way that you see value when you're working. I like to start with a gray background, mid-tone, uh, so that I can better judge my values. And so that's what I want to talk to you about today. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, once again give a shout out to Wacom. Uh, I use their products extensively all over the place. I love using their, uh, their Cintiqs. That's what I do all of my digital artwork on. Right now I'm talking to you and working on a Cintiq 22 HD. It's a fantastic piece of equipment. You can draw and paint right on the screen. I love it. Now also, if you want to see more of my work, Please go over to CreatureArtTeacher.com and over there you'll see all kinds of tutorials and different uh, things that I've created and, and whatnot and, and there's a whole bunch of stuff you can check out. So once again, it's CreatureArtTeacher.com. It's the art of Aaron Blaze. Okay, thanks. And one last thing. If you like what you see, if you like my channel, if you like all the lessons, then please hit that subscribe button down below. I really want to build up my audience and you know I've got a lot of information I want to get out to everybody and by you hitting that subscribe button it really helps me out. Okay, so thank you very much. So let's get into this. So one of the things that I always do when I'm working on, uh, whether I'm working digitally or even when I'm, uh, if I'm doing charcoal and that sort of thing, one of the things I like to do is I like to uh, work on a mid-tone. And the reason I like to do that is if I'm if I'm working on white, then when I'm creating my value structure, the when I'm working on a, on a white background, everything tends to look like it. It's too dark. It's a little bit hard to see your values tr truly the way we see them in nature. And if you work on a background that's say black, then everything is going to look too light. And so by working in that mid tone, you can judge your values. You can judge your light. You can judge your dark a lot more easily. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and look at this. This is a, a document that I've created in Photoshop. And um, what I've done is I've, I've grabbed a mid-tone gray uh, background, okay? And so I'm gonna just make three lines. I'm gonna make a white line, okay? And just do this. Because I wanna, I wanna show you what all those how the different background values, how they can affect what you do on top. I'm going to do something that's a little bit darker. Okay. I'm going to do something a little bit darker. I don't want to do the mid-tone because it'll just get lost right in the middle there. Then I'm going to go, actually, let's, let's do, there we go. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go with a black tone okay so here we have five values ranging in you know going from black to white and everything in between now when it sits on gray you can pretty well judge those values you can see when it goes white you can see when it goes black and you can see everything in between pretty well now watch what happens when I click on the white background I'm gonna make this background white now and if I click on this look what happens I'm gonna click this on and off Look how this value in particular, first of all, the white, our white disappears. Look at that, it just disappears. But the value here, that second value to the right here, it's light over dark, okay? But now when I turn on that, that light background, it becomes dark over light. And so all of a sudden that value feels like it's darker than it really is. Everything gets darker. Look at those values over to the left. You, can, you almost can't tell the difference between the two left values. See how those values look very close? But when I turn on 
that turn off that white background and put it back to gray, you can see that those value differences a lot better. Now the same happens when I'm going to turn that on. Watch what happens when I turn on the black. Now see how the black disappears on the left and all of a sudden everything gets brighter. Now you want to see something really weird. When I flip back and forth between the black background and the white background, watch how much those values jump all over the place. I mean, it's, it's, it almost feels like they move around and you can, you know, light becomes dark and dark becomes light. And it's very, very hard to judge the true value of what, um, of what these lines are. And so if I turn these off and go back to our gray background, there we are. That's our, that, that's where we can truly judge how those, uh, how those values work. Now here I've created a character. I just did a quick drawing. I don't know what he is. He's just a goofy little character. But here I did a character where I just did a quick sketch, a little value study, and I got some, some highlights on his body, got some shadows, and everything feels like it's in a fairly good range. Now watch what happens when I turn on the, the light background. Everything feels like it got a little bit darker, doesn't it? And actually in, in our highlight areas, you know, the, the areas on the, on the shoulder and, and here. Now it doesn't feel like, it feels like we need to go lighter now. It doesn't feel light enough. Okay, and so it's hard to judge just how light or dark you need to go if you're working on that white background, which is why I go and work on a gray background. And the same goes for the black. Now look, when I turn on that black background, now all of a sudden the darks, the shadows behind the ears and then the hair, they don't feel quite dark enough now. I feel like I need to go darker with them just so I can uh, balance it out with that, that, uh, that black background. Okay, so take that, take that information and go ahead and run with it. You know, when you go and you start working on a character design and you want to do a full value structure of that character, try working on something in the medium, middle range, gray value. You're going to be able to judge your values a lot better. And then if you want to do color, the same I do the same thing with color. I'll usually pick a mid-tone color uh, in, in a mid middle value range that's going to benefit, you know, whatever color that I'm that this dominant color of the character that I'm working on. But I I always try to find that mid-tone, not too dark, not too light, to work on so that I can judge those values in my character. A little bit better okay so I hope that helped you out a little bit go out and try it out and until next week I'll talk to you later thanks bye